Hi guys, we're Real Sensi. We're here today with Special Blend at Volcanic Studios. How are you guys doing? Excellent. Woo! Woo! Thank Good you good. for having us. Can you guys all introduce yourselves and your position in the band? Uh, I'm a power bottom. <laughs> <laughs> You know, missionary. That's, what I, that's my first thought. This is Yucky. Yeah. I'm Yuck, and uh, I play yeah. bass. Nice. Uh, Mighty. Uh, scratch and some. <laughs> Tanner. I play guitar and other things too. Cool. Wolfie on the drums. Nice. What's up, y'all? Ball on the vocals and percussion. Nice. There you go. There you have it. How would you guys describe your music to someone who's never heard it before? Uh, <laughs> dear friends, never heard it before. Yeah, no, I mean, we were, yeah, we always say yeah. Fa fast and fun. Yeah, we're fast and fun. But, yeah. but most definitely different. I mean, we like to, we, you know, we mix up a lot of different vibes in our sound. You know, when you come yeah. and watch us play, you'll hear everything from reggae to like, you know, some 90s alternative rock or. You know, some Spanish music. Yeah, you know what I mean? our set like we, goes all we over mix the board. It up, yeah, you know? it's good. So hip hop, a bit of everything, hip hop, you know? Yeah, so yeah. everyone has a reason to come up to the front. Exactly. You know? yeah. yeah. That's good. How'd you guys all meet each other? Tinder. P O S. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys talk yeah. about it. <laughs> it was quite of a random uh, situation that we all met each other. All the all the scenarios are I feel like quite far fetched when you tell the story out loud. Yeah. So just the fact that we are together I feel like is a minor miracle in itself. Mm. None of us really knew each other before the band besides me and Wolfie here. Other than that we were all strangers before we came. Kind of just yeah. I mean, man man bone. Actually, Yucky. Oh, that's yeah, Yucky's, Yucky's, Yucky's guys, only, yeah. he's on his own walk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wrote me I just, in. I just kind of showed up. Someone was like, you know, a bass player. Yeah, I was like, right. I haven't played in a long Who's time, but I have a bass, you know, <laughs> so let's go. And then, keep you know, true, keep the give me a reason to get back. Keep it back, truthful, you know? though. Yuck showed up. He did have a ponytail. I did at the time. <laughs> no. I had long hair. I thought that was only me. Yeah. 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 It's like... So it doesn't matter that he has one now, it's just that I have one then. Not even original. Wow. Yeah. This is how I find out. <laughs> That's awesome. How'd you guys come up with the band name Special Blind? Uh, that'd be my, yeah, that'd, that'd, that'd be my uh, wife yelling back at me, uh, making coffee in the morning. And just yells, you know, well, how about Special Blind? And I was like, shit, that's actually... That's a really good name. What, the cigarettes? Like, what, what'd you get? I was like, it's <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. strange because, you know, like, all oh, our kind of adverse, you know, adverse backgrounds. I was like, where'd you come up with that? She was like, and I was reading the side off the coffee. It was like, you know, with, you know, different distinct ingredients and, uh, uh, you know, different flavors that cause, you know, a unique type of, you know, robust, uh, you know, is a I special blend type thing. I was like, oh. Yeah, it was funny. So yeah, it's coffee. Yeah, right. can't, yeah, coffee. But it was for us. Yeah, I mean, for you know, that's the kind of cool thing is that you know, every one of us, our backgrounds are so kind of kind of wild. You know, that's. I mean, it just you know, like yeah, I just remember just saying it. I remember just one totally night. different. Right. Yeah, yeah I remember I just saying it, going, <laughs> "Yep." You know, especially when I was like, "Yeah, it is big melting yeah. pot." Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got some hip hop, punk. Rasta style, right? Surf <laughs> reggae, all kinds of stuff. Everything, yeah. and uh, that's cool. what makes you guys special blends. So that's amazing. All you guys' sounds. Um, so, how do you think you guys' music has changed over the years? Hmm. I think our biggest accomplishment ever was our our debut album was out of here, Volcanic Studio Record, uh, uh, Studio Volcanic Studios. Our first, our debut album came out number three, and I mean that, you know, I know for me, I mean for us, we were on the road too. That was, uh, that was, you know, as you know, you know, biggest inspiration mm -hmm. as you can, you can do it. Like we came here, you know, and you know, uh, you know, did our thing, and this is where it was comfortable. And some people said, oh, this is, you should go here, you should go there, you should do all this. We loved, we loved doing it. We did our, you know, like so our first album, and when that came out, we was, uh, we. We're at number three, like Bob Marley, Bob Marley and Special Blend. I was like, I remember from that day, you know, it was kind of one of those anything's possible 
type deal. And and anywhere you do is anything's possible. A good song is a good song. It doesn't matter if it's you know it's not, you know here or there where it's recorded. If you know it, if it's good, it's good. And it was just it was awesome. I mean, it feels but as far as changed over the years, yeah. Jesus Christ. No, I think that's where we went. Honestly, through that, yeah. Once you yeah. Yeah. listening, I think, hard, yeah. I think it's hard for us to even be really able to like notice that. where it would have changed at all. Because if you listen to one of our albums or any of them, you're gonna get ten songs that are all completely different. You know, they're not all the same. Yeah. So I mean. Well, one every thing, one song to the next is a change. One yeah. thing I so, think of you know? too is like when we first got together, our first album, Coast, we were so fresh and so new to each other that we brought so much different um, influences to that album, which is why I think it did so well. And I think over the time, we've grown to learn each other a lot more and write to each other a lot more. And I feel like it's kind of honed in on our sound. The more and more we play with each other, the more we learn how everybody's style is. And we, the more we hone in on what our sound is kind of coming to be. But I feel like the reason why Coast was so, you know, impactful, it was just, it was so different right off the start. Because mm-hmm. none of us really knew each other musically. And it was just a, it was just a very... And people are still... Influences. People are still trying to figure out what category to put us into. Yeah. You know, what I mean? there's, yeah. there's, you either at there's the end of the show, there's, there's like, the, there's A or B type of people. The A, they, and they, you know, when the show's done, they go, man, that was just some great music. What fun! We had fun. We had it was fast as fuck. We just had a great time. <laughs> and then you know, other people walk up and go, you know, oh, so are, do you guys like consider yourself reggae or do you consider yourself rock and like? What does it got to do with yeah. anything? You <laughs> right. know what I mean? Yeah, but I, it's it's still to this day, you, I, you know, uh, you know, you have, yeah, cats because we get tied up in this genre world right now. You know, where it's, you know everybody's going, oh, you know, this this reggae scene or, or uh, you know this rock scene. Or, you know, I mean, man, our, you know, we really don't have, you know, it's it's really hard. To, it's difficult for us because we always joke like this this album right here, this album is you know, I don't want you know. And you know, spoil the whole thing, but it's like this. The we have one song that's I think it's probably our first, like, you know, other than all or none, it's like we have our first dubbed out reggae track, yeah. You know, that's that's we awesome. have on this, this, this new album, uh, this new album, and it's just you know, it's just off the chain. But when people want to say, like, ah, oh, reggae was, I mean, man, we, I mean, I, I do, we do love reggae, you know, what I mean, we, we respect the hell out of it, we, and we fucking, you know, I mean, we love the shit out of the roots of it, and you know. Like, but it's done for us. And, but, you know, we've, you know, everybody's got to take their own music and evolve, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, where, where your backgrounds are from. And, like, I mean, with the, you know, like the reggae, with that, you know, that huge, you know, huge bass line to the percussion and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, that, that sculpts every one of the sounds of the beats that we're from. But, you know, I mean, we're, we're crazy. I mean, we right. knock stuff over and we yeah. break stuff and we like, yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> I hate to say it, like, I love it, but I mean, there's a time, like, you know, like, yeah. 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 Yeah, bro. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hip hop fans, man. I mean, growing up, born and raised in Compton, hip hop basically in WA was pretty much it for me. I mean, other influences as well, <laughs> East Coast, West Coast, really doesn't matter. But I think just hip hop in itself, mm-hmm. uh, it just sets the stage. It set the stage for, for me. I wanted to do it for a long time, and then having to link, link up with these guys it just made it even better because it was my first time ever performing or like uh, doing music with a live band. Yeah. Like hip hop is mainly like synthesized beats and stuff like that. So having a live band behind it, man, it makes it a whole lot better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, and even on tours for our long drives, I mean, it's usually a switch up between like roots reggae mm-hmm. or hip hop is yeah. the 11 hour the drives. Same. Yeah. We're, you know, we're tuning Sometimes in everything. We'll, we'll feel the drop of 16. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very special occasions. Right. Mike's this way guy, down this, here. This guy <laughs> right here, yeah, this guy uh, from San Pedro, he's doing his, uh, his, own, his own hip-hop thing as well, too. Speaking so. of hip-hop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you already know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but, uh, Big shots to Tim. Same for me, man. Yeah. Uh, what our first album was, him spitting on the, 
track it, you know, and oh, yeah. my homie play bass on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like they let me step out from behind the bass and show them what I was made of. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like to spit myself though. I love hip hop. Always have been heavily influenced hip hop. Grew up hanging out at the Boys and Girls Club. A lot of hip hop stuff going on there. Break dancing, scratching. You know what I mean? Freestyle sessions, all that. You know, so I mean, you know. Battles yeah. in the alley after school yeah. and stuff like that, you know, just like yeah. the real organic roots of yeah. hip hop, you know, has always been a big part of my life. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so, what do you think is your most memorable experience about being a part of Special Blend? Oh, oh. I think for me, is just driving cross country without getting pulled over by the cops. <laughs> Not one time. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad though. You're not supposed to say that. Yeah, that's right, man. That's all right. That's what it is. It's real. That's bad juju. <laughs> I, think, I think one of the I think one of the, uh, the best is kind of the, what's yet to come. I mean, uh, you know, one of the things we haven't really told everybody is that we're you know going to release an album at the end of the year. We have a whole album that we have that's completely unreleased. So uh, we're gonna we have a single all wrong that's gonna drop uh, in about a month. We're filming the video uh, this Saturday at Roots Sixty Six Festival. But uh, it's awesome. I mean, I always think you know, like, what's the best thing is that, like shit yet to come. I mean, everything is like I mean, it's all stepping stones. But like having this album we have right now. I mean, I really don't know anybody that's ever dropped a, a whole, like, a, just a complete unreleased album. I mean, there, I, I just don't know any band that's like, uh, here's a whole album of songs that you've never heard. We we haven't played any of them live. We've never played any of them anywhere. And, you know, we have uh, a couple of acoustic throwbacks from the first album, so... I'm pretty excited about that shit. I, 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 I'm really excited, like, you know, like, you know, yeah. And probably, well, I think that's the, was that the announcement? Oh, that might be the first time anybody knows. Well, there you have it. <laughs> well, there you yeah, have. so just, I've been in this band since the beginning, which has been quite a while. I was just, like, about 18, turning 19 when I turned this band. So, with speaker wire. Being, <laughs> being 19 years old, just starting one of my more, successful projects or bands, Special Blend, obviously, my only successful ones of them, actually. <laughs> but, <Not> modest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's the other one? Yeah. Well, I, you know, it's my, it's my what school, else did you do my school. It's 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 my It was headlining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's actually my point, is I was 19 years old, and I was on the House of Blues stage, and the curtains open, and just seeing a sea of friends and family and fans and that was a monumental moment for me. I was not even the age of 20 yet and I saw the curtains open before me at House of Blues Anaheim before they moved and just a sea of friends and family and being able to play on that stage at that young of an age with to that kind of a crowd was a life-changing moment for me. That was that was definitely one of my more highlighted moments, yeah. not only in this band, but just in my fucking entire life. In general. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's amazing what memories awesome. you guys could, like, make. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. What advice would you guys give musicians trying to do what you're doing right now? Just keep at it. It's got yeah. nothing to do with other than just hustling and playing in the garage and having a love for music. Yeah, exactly. just That's keep, the big one. Do what just you want to do. Yeah, play what you want to play. Don't worry about Forget fitting into no scenes. Yeah. You don't have to sound like Play to what band. makes you feel good. Because it's going to make, gonna make good. someone else There ain't no I mean. template to this. There ain't yeah. no how-to guide or template or yeah. right yeah. or wrong way. Just Hard do what you love and do it every day. There's no rush. There's no, you know, like... Well, come on. I mean, it's coming full circle. It's like I said earlier. A good song is a good song, you know. I mean, that, you know, where 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 it starts from, you know, is the creation. So you're not gonna, you know, you can add as many bells and whistles or go to the most giant, you know, beautiful studio, you know, you can go to, or you can go to somewhere that you know is a great fit for you. And if you have a good song, a good song is a good song. You know, it was like when you don't train, you know what? Like, yeah, man. We when we go places, I mean, when we play Sunday, I mean, whether you like it or not, man. I mean, you play, we play Sunday, everybody sing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, it's, it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's, you know, it's a, it's a super special thing. Yeah, it's a good night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's the best thing in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, when you can stop singing for a second and the crowd's singing over you, you're like, yes. 
<laughs> it's great when your hard work can pay off, you know? Yeah. So what are the bands you guys have collaborated with, and is there any artists you guys want to work with? Sure. Well, collaborated with, I mean, that's a long list. I was going to say, we're actually, like, uh, being for me, like, DJ background, my thing, even Bo knows too. Like I love Cypress Hill, I love DJ Muggs, and you know, I love all that. You know, like all that. When it, when we first. So that's who you want to collaborate with, yeah, is Cypress Hill. Yeah. 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 Cool. <laughs> but I was saying when we, when we first started, when we first started, you know, that when we dropped the, you know, when we started putting the album together, and, you know, the boys, you know, I was like, you know, Pilot was a buddy, and you know, you know, see, we have some, we have some friends of ours, you yeah, know, and Mike Bell. I just, mm -hmm. I was, you know, even these, I, I asked these mm -hmm. guys, I was like, man, I always wonder why people didn't say, like, hey, Mike, you want to jump on something like, just, you know, we have all these, we have all these opportunities with all these friends that make all this great music. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's like the original lights, you know, Tim, you know, writing that track, uh, you nothing know, like that, that, right? yeah, yeah. nothing like it, that yeah. Yuck spits that verse on, uh, Mike, you know, doing the uh, sax on B3, Pilot, Two mm -hmm. Hill doing on uh, two I songs. Thought, yeah. I mean, you know, we're super blessed to like it, it, to ask friends, and then, uh, you like know, C formula and, uh, coming out. Yeah, we have yeah we from Four Finger Ring Music. We have That's C Four cool. on this next album. Uh, we had Mike uh, from Zen Robbie on the last one. Nice. But I just don't know how you wouldn't like all the people that we've got to meet throughout the years, like all these bands, like you know, we've all become great buddies. You know, we're yeah. good friends. We've toured. We've done stuff with them. And, Sometimes you hear a song, you go, man, you know who'd be awesome? I, I told Tanner this one song. I was like, man, just, and, and Tanner's the you know guitarist, the guitarist, everything guitarist. I was like, you know who'd be awesome? He's like, Mike from Zen, like playing lead right over the top of it, and he was like, yep, yep. And that's the good thing about us. Nobody's ever been like, you know, like, well, I can do that. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. We have, we realize like we have friends that shred, yeah. whether. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, dude, you know, whether well, it's Tim, mm -hmm. yeah, Tim, you know, I mean, for, to have Tim from the OGs come in to play bass, and then to have him spit on that verse, like, you gotta understand, we realize how awesome our friends are. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, they shred. Gotcha. And we are so thankful to have them as our, you know, our friends and, like, uh, yeah, yeah, just to I mean, be part amazing. of the, you know, like chipping in. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they've always been happy. All of our have always been happy to chip in. We're like, yep, yeah, well, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, Cali yeah. 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 Uh, Justin is on the. Uh, Justin's on the first album. Uh, dig, dig, a uh, dig playing percussion. percussion. Yeah, yeah cool. plays so on awesome. two. Uh, yeah, plays on two songs. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. That's um, what's the most challenging thing you guys have had to overcome as a band? Our bass player. <laughs> <laughs> I would say we're all getting Next together. question. We all come yeah. from so different, various, yeah. various places, parts yeah. of Southern California, man. Yeah. So it's cool. Yeah, we got a lot of a uh, lot of chiefs. <laughs> not enough Indians, you know. <laughs> or not enough indigenous people. <laughs> yeah, I say, yeah. but, um, I say realistically, like. You say the biggest challenge being sometimes when you go out there, you know, like on tour and stuff like that, you know, we get such a great feedback and such positive energy and financially it's good and every you know, everything that's why everybody goes out and does stuff and I mean I you know, don't want to sound like a you know, a, a scratch record but it's like you've heard other artists too saying, Hey man, you gotta support, you know, you gotta support, gotta support, gotta support and sometimes you know, living down here, or, you know, being in this, uh, we have so many friends that have so many bands. Mm -hmm. When people go, hey, have you heard this new artist, da, da, da. I haven't even mm -hmm. got to hear, like, some of my friends' new <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. so I'm like, man, I'm trying to keep up with that. And sometimes it is tough, because down here we are flooded with so much. I mean, Tanner does a good job. He does a much better job than me, like, going to support. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's tough, man. you got to get out and... you. You know, you, you have to support as much as you ask to be supported. Definitely. Exactly. Yeah. What you put out, you get. Yeah. You know? 